No. No. Bad show. Bad writers. No. See? You fuckers. Hello, my loves. It is time for Orphan Black Season 1, Episode 10, The Finale. I just watched Episode 9 and did a little recap, so we're just going to dive right into it. As always, these videos do have to be cut up for YouTube, so if you want my full-length reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And shout out and thank you to everyone who's able to support me over there. I love and appreciate you guys so much, especially my MVPs. You guys are amazing. And without further ado, let's get into it. Boop! Ready? Yes. I carried you both. I need to see her. I don't think that nine months of gestation entitles her to risk us all. Hey, look. Helena's my twin sister. She has a right to know. Because you shared a womb? Helena is dangerous. She's had a whole world turned inside out, just like I have. How Helena takes this determines what we do with her. to see you privately, away from here. What for? I have something for you from back then about my in vitro treatments. OK, I've, I've got a place you can be. Helena, this is Amelia, your birth mum. <laughs> hey, you listen to what she has to say, or I put you right back in the trunk and I'll take you straight to Leaky. How can you be my birth mother? Helena, I am birth mother to you both. Who is that? What's the matter, love? I think something bad is gonna happen again. Yeah, that's what this is. Our connection. We were implanted by doctors, all of us. You split inside me into two baby girls. And I hid you because I felt you were in danger. Sister, you're my twin sister. I don't want to be your sister. I just want you to know you're not the original. Got it? You were born of science. It's like my nightmare. Oh, police raids. No, no, God. Sarah Manning, you're under arrest. Oh, baby girl. Let's go. All right, come on, Helena. I know Sarah was a bitch, but you're gonna be the nice one and you're gonna help her, right? Sarah. I still see Beth. I didn't kill her, Ron. No. You watched her commit suicide, and then you went straight for her wallet. She did. <laughs> True. Jane Doe's facial reconstruction. Who's this one? How'd they know what her hair looked? Oh. D did they know what her hair looked like? We've got your foster brother Felix in custody for a betty. And your daughter? She's gonna be one lonely little girl unless you start talking. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Try me. Ugh. I mean, clearly Art cared about Beth, so it's got to be a lot for him to process that she killed herself. He hasn't really had a moment to, like, have emotions about that. I guess I shouldn't assume that he would, but it, it seems like he cared about her, at least to some extent. Like, in a real way, you know? I'm armed. What do you want? To make amends. So? 
let someone in your home. You must think I'm so stupid. Stupid suburban Allison. Oh, quite the opposite. You're a pragmatic and decisive individual. And now that you're self-aware, we can start to answer some of your questions. I, I don't want answers anymore. I want my life back. I want my family back. I want my privacy back. I want you back. You never had it, love. I want things to be normal again. You've been watched your whole life. This enshrines your family's freedom. Guarantees protection from the likes of Helena. How are you gonna guarantee that? How are you gonna guarantee protection, especially if you're not monitoring her? I don't wanna scare you, but uh, yeah, there are health concerns. Katya's respiratory disorder, Helena's mental illness. Mental illness? You mean the trauma from being raised in a cage by a religious zealot? And as a gesture of good faith, your monitor has been lifted. She has? Don't get up. Who was it? I still feel a twist coming. I don't think it's Ainsley unless there's more to that story. Thank you. <laughs> no! 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 Bad show. Bad writers. No! Don't you dare come for Kasima. It's your phone. Well, it's Beth's phone, actually. So help me wrap my head around this. Oh, if you're hearing this, you found the body. It's not Beth. It's me. My name is Sarah Manning, and... You're about the only person I trust to figure the whole thing out. It's gonna be good for his ego, though. He's gonna know that Sarah does trust him and want to tell him stuff, and that's gonna win him over a little bit. Help me. Help Beth. I know you care. There's a reason we look exactly the same, huh? Okay. Why the prince match and the DNA is all screwed up? You have to promise to protect me and my daughter. I will. If that's what you need, I promise. Detective, this interview is over. Miss Manning, I'm your lawyer, Daniel Rosen. No. Unshackle her, please. No. Miss Manning will be leaving with me. No. Thank you, gentlemen. Miss Manning. No. No. Sarah. Use your head. Who would have sent a lawyer for you? Who? Why did she not immediately get red flags when that lawyer came in? Because who else would have sent it? Mrs. S? Mrs. S can't afford a lawyer that walks in with that kind of confidence, right? That's not a public defender. So I am continually disappointed in Sarah's common sense and instincts. She should have immediately said to Art in some way to be on alert, like that this was potentially not a good thing. You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm trying to say? I, uh. This is an employment contract for the Diet Institute. Very generous compensation. We want to work with you, Kasima. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. This is your complete sequenced genome. 3.2 billion base pairs. My offer is the freedom to study yourself and your sisters. Unfettered research. Oh, it's tempting for a scientist. Nobody is more invested in your own biology than you. It's yours. Just think about it. That'd be so tempting. You work for Dr. Leakey? Indirectly. Should have known. Can we have a minute? You left me hanging with Leaky when you didn't show up with Helena. Do you work for Leaky now? I still have Afghanistan on me. Understand? What is that? The leverage she mentioned. You don't pay attention. Ah! Sarah Manning. My name is Rachel Duncan, and we are going to come to terms. What? There's another one? I guess I should have known that. They said there's nine so far, right? Is she one of the nine, though, is what I'm wondering? Or is she separate? You're not an orphan anymore, Sarah. We found you, and my role is to transition you to self-awareness. 
Maybe it's time I just embrace my clonage. Went on Oprah. We could be famous, you and me. We're not the enemy. Helena and her ilk are, and we are going to help with that. You want to help? Why don't you tell me why? What, what am I doing sat here looking at you? What are we for? Disclosure is defined herein. So was Rachel a clone first that found out and got this job as payoff for being on their side? Or was she always part of it? I know you want to make the right choice for Kira. You're very lucky. Motherhood is wonderful. Forces behind Helena will never stop, Sarah. The most important thing in this for you is protection for you and your daughter. And yeah, no thanks. I'm not interested. Take 24 hours to think about it. Midnight tomorrow. Rachel, I like Rachel too. While you and I were being arrested, Helena escaped. Thank you, Fee. Hey. That was a quick flight. Uh, Sarah, I so should have listened to you about Delphine. I... A career at the Dyad Institute. Uh, yeah, studying us. Uh, what are you going to do, Kasima? Uh, well, we have to know our own biology. That's uh, what this is all about, right? Maybe I can help us best from the inside. I can't trust this Rachel bitch, can I? Not if Kira is the first child of a clone. Scientifically unclassified, she could be what Rachel is actually after. Who is Rachel? Can someone tell me so she doesn't just show up at my door and I have no idea who she is? <laughs> Uh, Amelia said she had a doctor's back in the day discussing a child raised by Neolution. She's a pro-clone. God, you three are weird enough. If there won't be any more spies in my life, if my kids are safe, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you I'm inclined to take the offer. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's totally your choice. Yeah, no judgment. Oh, shit. Delphine just got off a plane. Yeah, stupid, needy bitch. She's a lesbian, okay? Katya Obinger, German? Yeah. Finally ID'd our Jane Doe when she falls under federal jurisdiction. This whole thing reeks. Hey, you still want to get to the bottom of Sarah Manning? I found a known associate. Is it back? Ainsley's house because they said that her monitor had been let go so someone's gonna be disappearing from her life you're moving yes Chad got his own place with the dog and I got a very handsome offer on the house goodbye Allison I'm packing oh Allison get out admit it admit what dr. Leakey came to see me who I want the truth Ainsley the truth is that you screwed my husband and I'm moving because of you! A felt Christmas angel. I made that! Well, to hell with you and your Christmas angel. No, you, you turn this whole thing around I have, on me. Something's gonna happen. Something's about to happen. Kill me! Oh, oh. 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 Like she was the monitor. I still have this feeling. I need confirmation on who Allison's monitor is. Now! Enough play with my emotions. What if her own kids find her? I just had that thought. Oh my god. Oh no. Don't go back over there, Allison. They're watching. Oh god, this is so bad. Okay, good. Last thing we need. 
Allison leading the police right to her own murder scene. Okay, we're gonna have to hide this bag. We might have to go on a trip. But you can't tell anybody, not even Mrs. S. It's a secret, yeah? Promise? Okay. Where are you off to? Meeting Amelia. You all right? Mind Amelia. Why? She didn't raise you. Yeah, I know. You did. It was all a long time ago. <coughs> Stop it! <coughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hey, baby. Well, now I get it. You know, if Sarah were here, she'd kick your willowy ass. I promise you, I did not tell Leaky about Sarah's child. Why are you here? Because Leaky is a liar. And I think you can prove it scientifically with that. Your synthetic sequence? He gave me my whole genome. It's but you... You can't find that sequence anymore, can you? He would have scrubbed it. I'm on your side now. Please believe me. She switched sides so quick, but like I said, I mean, lesbian shit, you know? Zero to a hundred. Thank you for meeting me, Sarah. That poor child, Helena. How can two fates be so different? You two are like night and day. Sarah was loved and protected. Helena was used and manipulated and tortured. I must warn you, Sarah. Your foster mother, Mrs. S, she's not who she says she is. I have something you should see. How? Did scientists put babies inside you? What? <gasps> you gave me to them. You let them make me this way. Oh my god. But she was about to tell us something about Mrs. S. And I am scared to know, but I want to know. Helena, what have you done? We missed your sister. Come join us. <gasps> Johnny, I... Oh, you're shaking. I'm a horrible person. No, no, honey. Oh, Judas Priest, what have I done? No, 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 no. no. It doesn't matter. We can put it all behind us. Every little bit of it. <laughs> This is the, uh, an encrypted ID tag. It's how they tell you apart. I know your tag number. You do? Yes. Okay, what is it? It's 324B21. 324B21. I'm sorry. Well, uh, let's run these letters through a decryption program. Yeah. I, all that went over my head, but I'm sure. I trust them. I actually went to a biotech charter high school. Didn't go there because I was smart or anything, long story, but a lot of that sounds familiar. I sh probably should understand more than I do, but uh, I was just a pothead that skipped class to smoke most days, so. <laughs> of course, they weren't coding nucleotides. It was whole base pairs? Not four letters, but two, A, T, and G, C. Ones and zeros. Binary. Uh, uh, they were coding in ASCII. <laughs> Amelia. Oh, good. She's not dead, though. Tell her. What about Mrs. S? What is it? Your foster mother. She won't. She won't. Project Lita. I didn't recognize the, those people. Am I supposed to recognize them? My sister. My twin. Amelia. 
I'm sorry, Mother isn't very well. She's dead. Psycho. You killed someone I've been dreaming about my whole life. She separated us. I mean, to be fair, I feel like Sarah probably dreamt about her real mom, meaning her biological mom in that context based on what she knew at the time of dreaming about her. So, like, a surrogate birth mother isn't exactly who she probably thought about. Scientists made one little baby, and then we split in two. So I cannot kill you, sister. <laughs> like you could not kill me. Sarah, we make a family. Yes? I've already got a family. <laughs> oh, gosh. Helena doesn't die here, though, right? I know she doesn't die here. I guess I don't know, but from the way you guys talk about her, it does not sound like she was a gone quick kind of character, so I, I just don't think she's dead. 324B21. It's your ID tag. You cracked it. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Rachel Duncan. It's Sarah. I want to know my daughter won't have to live like this. We can do that. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh. So, Rachel, they said something about a child being raised by Neolutionists. I thought they meant the clones in general, but did they mean Rachel? Rachel was specifically raised within the Neolution world as part of the experiment. I'm down two to go. What's going on over there? Oh. None of our business. <laughs> Your tracksuits. Mm hmm. I'm going for a jog. I've been a lump. You deserve better. Hmm. No, no. Something feels so wrong. Sarah, don't. You asked me what happened in Afghanistan. I was a private contractor. I killed six Marines. Friendly fire. They covered it up. That's what they have on me. Yeah? Sarah, you can't make a deal. Why not? Any freedom they promise is bullshit. They're liars. That synthetic sequence, the barcode I told you about, it's a patent. A patent? We're property. Our, our bodies, our biology, everything we are, everything we become, belongs to them. Sarah, they, they could claim Kira. You wouldn't stop and be like, what the hell is going on? Any normal person is... See? You fuckers. Back on track, I think. It's a seven-year itch. It's not easy. She's not easy. Ah! See, I was gonna say, no normal person is, like, not interested in why there's an ambulance at their neighbor's house. We're all nosy motherfuckers! Pro-clone. You know what to do. I'm sick, Delphine. Oh fuck, 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 oh fuck. Siobhan! Kira! Oh! Kira! 
I, I'm like actively trying not to put myself in her position because I can't, I, I can't go there. I, it'll break me. I can't, I can't. No, no, no. Uh, uh. No, I won't. I won't feel it. I won't, I won't, I won't feel it. No, fuck. Oh God. I can't. I cannot process the ending or I will break. But we don't actually know for sure what happened. We don't know if when Rachel said, you know what to do, they came and took Kira and it's a mess in the house because there was a struggle. We don't know if Mrs. S had a feeling or something and she got Kira out of there and the house is a mess because they destroyed the place looking for information or looking for something or we don't actually know. We don't know what happened. I don't know where Kira is. I don't know if she's with Mrs. S or if she's with the Neolutionists. And even if she's with Mrs. S, we don't know for sure if that's okay because birth mother was all, you need to know this about your foster mom. And to be fair, I trust Mrs. S a lot more than that birth mother. But Mrs. S is clearly a complex character with very complex motives and a complex history. And so I know it's very possible for her to surprise me and for her to have more sides to her and all that. So while I do currently trust her more than birth mother. What was her name? I am so sorry. I'm bad at names. Amelia, I think. Was that it? Amelia. They had the birth mother warn us about Mrs. S in the same episode that Kira goes missing for a reason, I feel like. And so I'm just feeling very paranoid, as usual, when I watch this show. The patent thing is huge. I mean, I actually kind of already figured that was the case. I mean, if they created these clones and have monitored them this whole time and all that, I mean, I didn't necessarily think of it specifically in the terms of a patent, but it kind of seemed obvious to me that they were property in some way. The part that really hit me, though, is when she said they could come after Kira. That's the part that never really clicked in my head, is that if Sarah is property, then by default, Kira is property. That is horrifying. That is what I didn't really see. And that is what hit me in the gut. Again, it's something I, I can't really fully put myself in that position because it's just too painful. But I think most parents will agree that that is a nightmare to even imagine. The idea of someone being able to just take your child legally and then have the rights over your child. It's horrifying. I'm super bummed that Art hasn't learned the truth yet. I really wanted Sarah to tell him more. And then again, I, you heard my rant. When the lawyer comes in and takes her, I just could not believe that she didn't have a bad feeling about that. How do you not have a bad feeling about that? Her gut is broken, I swear to God. For someone who is supposed to be so street smart, she has the worst instincts in the world. I mean, I get that in that moment, like, she really doesn't have a huge, solid reason to trust Art either. And if he ends up not being trustworthy, if she puts her trust in him and he ends up failing her, then being in trouble with law enforcement and all the, the situation that she's stuck in is horrifying. And that is obviously something she wants to avoid. So I, I'll give her that. But it's not like trusting Dr. Leakey is really a better option. So I don't know. I realize that I really can't judge her, but my gut was screaming at me when that lawyer came in. And so I don't know. I'm just bummed that Art didn't get an impression in that moment that something was wrong because so far I really like his instincts and I want him, I just want him to start figuring stuff out so he can be on our side because I'm starting to like him. Oh, and speaking of law enforcement, now I have to go back and watch the timeline uh, timeline of events. Did we see Mrs. S and Kira after the police raid happened and before they disappeared? Maybe she disappeared with Kira after the police raid because that scared her and that was like last straw. She got Kira out, which would have been the right move. And so then when the Neolutionists showed up, they were gone. And that's why they destroyed the house. They were looking for, like, clues of where they went or something. Ah! All right, I can't wait to start season two and find out what happened. But that's it for season one. Holy shit, what a ride it's been so far. You guys are definitely right. This show is all about the mysteries and the theories. It just keeps me wanting to watch the next episode so bad. 
So we will be starting season two ASAP, but for now, get your butts down in those comments and let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this first season and this finale episode. Let's discuss. Just another reminder that my full-length reactions are available on my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And thank you all for being here with me today. It really is an honor to have you guys spend your time with me. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.